I'm here walking for my sister who died uh, in 1983, um, so it'll be 29 years this year, and I'm walking for her, as well as walking for the cause, uh, walking to decrease the stigma of suicide, and hopefully sending the message that it's okay to ask for help and to get it. Well, I was 15 and she was four years older than me, so she was my only sister, my only sibling. Um, and so when I lost my sister, I lost a parent in a way. She was a pseudo parent to me. She was my best friend. And I remember going to the hospital on the way after being told that she had died and just repeating it. It's not supposed to happen to me. It's not supposed to happen to my family because she had had previous attempts. Um, and even with that, you never think it's going to happen. So there was a lot of shock, a lot of disbelief, and it took many years for me to assimilate her not being here for me in my life. Um, and unfortunately, AFSP was not around in 1983. So I think what helped me is that I was able to write things, um, write journal, uh, creative write. I wrote a, a grief book um, years later even, because I don't think it's something you ever get over. I think you will process this the rest of your life. That person's not there anymore. And I, th I think my, my advice would be to, to find someone to share your feelings with. Don't keep it in. Or if you write music or poetry or functions like these where you can get out and in memory of that person, do something active, um, make a difference, have a voice. And, and hopefully, unfortunately, our, our crowds hopefully will not be as big as they are. So I felt alone. I really did. I felt like um, even my best friends didn't know how to communicate with me or reach me or talk to me and in a lot of ways I didn't want to be any different than anyone else and, and, I, and I felt like I was. What do you think so. was the cause of it? Fear. I think people are afraid of talking about it um, and I'm not sure if it stems from they're afraid it might happen in their family or they're afraid that they've had you know similar thoughts and they don't want to share that with you because of what you're going through. I'm not sure but I've always said to people that have met um, the situation in their lives, it doesn't hurt to just tell someone you're there. You know, you might not be ready, but know that I'm here and keep periodically checking on them because at some stage they'll reach out to you. So I, I would encourage that to anybody. Um, I think silence is deadly in a lot of cases.